please give, help me in giving a hand to welcome Coach Daniel to the stage. Yeah, thank you so much for, for making the journey. Uh, obviously today, uh, celebrating five years of Chart Champions. Um, it's been a, an amazing journey. And, uh, you know, I see some people here from previous meetups. So, you know, the community is still strong. Like, it's, it's really amazing to see. Um, I have some, some slides to go through uh, first to, like, go through some of the journey and uh, some of the memories and um yeah talking through like the the five years how it's all come about and what we're looking forward to in the future um and also i will go over some like lessons that i've learned because obviously when chart champions first came around it was not created myself like having like uh, from a business perspective it was mainly just created because people wanted it to be created and so like the the lessons that i've learned um have been like massive and, and so I can share some of them as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy to like celebrate this with you and we're gonna have an amazing weekend. <laughs> so here we go. The, uh, the, the first photo that I had in my phone of a selfie in front of the charts with the CC hat on. Um, so this was, uh, made me laugh because this was a coincidence, but this was the first selfie that I saw on my phone of the CC hat. And then it was funny enough because it was the same pose that for some reason I used in my thumbnail. So <laughs> I seem to like that pose a lot. <laughs> um, but then more, more famously, we have an early photo here of an Elliott Wave count. This was actually when Bitcoin was back at, uh, I think on this photo, if you can see very good eyes, it's around $9,000. This was uh, when we were looking for the rise. Uh, and it obviously in India, this was a bullish Elliott Wave count. Uh, as you can see, I just thought we were finishing wave four and we did end up moving up to around, uh, this was in 2019, so we actually moved up here to around uh, $14,000 before the COVID crash, before eventually getting up to big targets at $69,000. Um, and this, this uh, next slide was a, a funny part of the journey. This was a card I got and it, it made me smile because of the number plate. You, know, you can just see a little bit there. This was the, uh, the first... Um, I'd always like been a fan of cars to be honest, but this was the first car that I bought with my Bitcoin profits. And so I dedicated it to Bitcoin number plate. Um, but the funny story with this car is then, then this was the, uh, this was a few weeks later. <laughs> so that was the not so good part of, uh, of, <laughs> of this. And I wanted to shout out Drag to Pair. I hope I say that right, because I know he was also in a car accident. So we are car accident bros. <laughs> it's uh, something with the Bitcoin. Uh, and then move on. So the next one, and I had to get that replaced with a new Bitcoin number plate, uh, keeping the love for the Bitcoin always. <laughs> um, and this was a really cool photo, actually, because this is uh, the first ever um, Chart Champions meetup. So this was actually a really cool, um, looking at it in hindsight, because this was in the, the, around December 2019. So this was when the community was really like small. We had like around 20 members more or less. Um, so we had basically everybody that was in the community at the time came to this meetup. And if you see, you can actually see Igor there, you see Mike there, you see Victor there. Um, and so these were at the time were just like members like tonight, like people coming together. Uh, I was at my own, at, at this point in time, I was just doing it on my own, like there was nobody else. and so. It's cool looking back how, um, I think this is what's cool about Chart Champions, like everyone was work that ended up like becoming part of the company was also at one point like a, a member. So that was, that was really cool. Like looking, looking back on hindsight. Yeah, <laughs> love my biscuit bolognese. <laughs> but that was, a, that was a really cool photo. And that was, yeah, first ever CC meetup. And some people here are also, I'm not sure if they're here tonight, but they are still champion members as well. So. Yeah, people from the very first moments till today in 2024 still still members. So that, that was really nice. And that brings me on to the next photo. Uh, so this was uh, myself, Victor, Mike and Igor. And I wanted to give a shout out. Obviously, they're not here tonight, but uh, Mike and Victor still have a special place in my heart. And I always wish them the best. <laughs> 
And it, this, was, this was in um, Amsterdam, right? Rotterdam, yeah, Rotterdam, because that's where Mike's from. So we went to visit Mike and had a, a really good time together. <laughs> um, but we, yeah, it's, it's always nice to do these. We've obviously done meetups with the members and then we do just staff meetups and they're always like an amazing time. And this was, yeah, this was in Rotterdam. Um, and then this was, uh, you might be able to recognize where we are. Any guesses? Yes, <laughs> this was a Dubai meetup. Uh, this would have been back in two, 2020. Um, this was at the time I went to a trading event and then it was actually really funny because it was a Bybit trading event and it was filled with a bunch of like influencers. You, you, you know all the YouTubers um, and it wasn't my scene. And so I was like, ah oh, man, I don't want to hang around with these people really. So I was just like on the Discord, hey, anybody want to do a meetup? And these people said yes. <laughs> so I ended up doing a Chart Champions meetup instead. And so that was, that was a, a good memory. Yeah, that was really cool. And some of the, uh, I know at least Woodchopper is here tonight. So I see him in the photo. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was a great time. Which leads us to the next meetup. And I have a bit of a story about this meetup, which was really funny. Um, so this is the... Uh, Mexico Chart Champions meetup that we done and uh, this was really funny because well, it wasn't funny at the time but it's funny now um, we decided to do like a Chart Champions meetup to go to a music festival so uh, it was like a reggaeton music festival and so like Jay Balvin was the headliner I was like to the group, hey, anybody want to do like a meetup in Mexico? And we actually had like over 50, cha like 50 champions and contenders say yes. And they, everyone booked their tickets and we were heading to Mexico. And this was just as COVID was like getting big. And so, um, you know, in the end, about 25 people, let's say, arrived, 30 people arrived. And let's say the, uh, uh, the, the music festival was scheduled to start on the Saturday. Everyone was arriving like Thursday, Friday. And on the Friday, one day before it was meant to start, they canceled the uh, event because of COVID. So then we were all a bit bummed, like thinking, ah, oh, we're all here, now the music festival's canceled. And it was a little bit sad. Um, and in, but in the end, this is what I think about in hindsight, how amazing this was. Because, um, so we, this was in Mexico and it was in Cancun. And Cancun wasn't my scene either. I was a bit, well, I didn't really like it so much. So what was really cool here is you can see Mike and Matt, who Matt now also works for Chart Champions. At the time, he was just a, a member at this point as well. But we got on really well. And um, I said to Mike, oh, we, sh we should leave Cancun. It's not really our, our scene. Let's like, try and find some more culture. Uh, so I, I said, you know, I've always been interested in going to Colombia. Maybe we should just head over to, I'd already been there before, but I said to them, let's, let's head to Colombia, see what it's like. Like, we're going to experience some more culture. Obviously, Cancun's a little bit, like, uh, westernized. And so we ended up, uh, me, my, me, Mike, and Colombia, heading to uh, Colombia. And that leads us on to the next slide, which is really cool, because this was then um, where I met Isabella. So Isabella is now my girlfriend. And uh, we just randomly met her in the end in Colombia. And um, we were at a bar and she ended up like helping us out with uh, the UFC fight. And we got on really well. And when we were speaking, uh, she was like telling me a little bit about herself, like we'd only just met. And she had a, uh, a charity. And so that for me was like really interesting. And she was like telling me about it. And like she had created her own charity and um, like set up, it's, it's, you can only see a little bit of this, but you see like these, um, you see a little bit of that house in the background, like these, these um, kids and uh, grown ups, they're, they're living in these houses, which are um, not, if you call it a house sort of thing, like there's no roof, they're living, they're living on a plastic box sort of thing, like it's really, really, really bad. 
And so uh, I, w I was saying a little bit, it was kind of funny because <laughs> I was telling her like, oh yeah, I do some Bitcoin, like I'd love to help you out. And she was like, she didn't believe me. She was just like, oh, this guy, he just, he just wants to go out with me. Um, so she, did, she was just like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll organize an event and you can come and, and uh, like help out for a bit. And she, she was very kind about it. Um, and in the end, yeah, we went and uh, yeah, donated some stuff. I'd done something and like a little bit of a meet up with the kids, but it was amazing. But then like looking back on it, obviously now, we're, like we're together, we're living together, want to get married and have kids. And so it's just amazing how you can see that um, like we, we shouldn't have even been in Colombia. Like we didn't ever mean to be in Colombia. And now I've like found God and I really feel like it was, I was like destined to go there and meet Isabella and like be reborn. And so for me, that was like an amazing experience that, um, yeah, it, it, it like just goes to show that you can, you never really know what's ahead of you and what's coming. But if you just like follow the path and what you feel is right, then yeah, you can have like amazing, amazing outcomes. So that, that was a, a really special uh, experience for me. Um, and this, so this, this is, uh, this is the, uh, an event that I went to in Bahrain, um, also with Bybit. And so I was invited to this one because, uh, but, Chart Champions became the highest um, volume team on the whole of Bybit. So that was like a, a, a really big achievement. So we actually had over uh, $1 billion of monthly trading volume. And then I was the number one of the people making up that volume. So I got invited to this, this event as like a special guest. <laughs> and this was cool because obviously Bybit, they sponsor now uh, Red Bull. And so we got to go down and like have a special talk with the drivers and go into the, the all this type of stuff. I'm not even an F1 fan, but it was really cool seeing that sort of thing. Um, and obviously tomorrow we're at the Bybit offices. So I have a good relationship with Bybit. Uh, yeah, uh, they've, they've always been very nice to me. I, I give them a lot of, of volume. <laughs> um, <laughs> and there we are again. <laughs> as this was at the uh, celebration event that they hosted in Singapore and that was with some other uh, like their top traders and uh, it's always been you know, I always have yeah it's a, it's a little bit of fun at their events <laughs> um, and then this is the uh, Madeira meetup uh, see so again you can this was this was funny wasn't it like this is in a little uh, little hall uh, maybe the site yeah a bit bigger than this to be fair but not like massive and there's normally like you know, 50 tables all around the place. And then we, we turned up and we're just like, hey, where's like 50 of us, we need to just do one massive table down the middle. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the people here tonight also were at the Madeira meetup. Um, so yeah, that, that, was, that was some fun meetups that we had. As you see, we've done a lot, lot of meetups to be honest. And here's another one in San Diego. Uh, I have more photos than this, but this was just one of the San Diego meetup photos. But again, there was uh, another really cool event. Uh, I, I, in this event, I met one of my uh, like really good friends now in Chart Champions. Um, he's not here tonight, but um, yeah, what I, what I like about the events is that I was always meeting people and then uh, become like really, really good friends. Like all my best friends were like from Chart Champions. So it was cool, like, yeah, just meeting these people and then slowly like getting to know them more. And like, they weren't um, just bombarding me about trading, but they were like really friendly and wanted to get to know me. And, and so it, it was really nice, like, um, yeah, meeting, meeting these people, like, like the, well, the guy now that I'm really good friends with and um, yeah, met him in, in San Diego. So that was, that was a great, brilliant meetup. And that leads us to the London event. So this was the first ever uh, event. You may see some of yourselves in the photo. Um, and obviously tonight is the second ever event and I wanna do these events now once a, once a year. And I feel um, every year they're gonna be able to get better and better and better as we, I mean, the amount that we've learned through this event, like planning and organizing this has been, uh, has been crazy. I've learned so much to be honest. Uh, so I feel like every, every event we can learn more and also just from the experience and like losing the nervousness and uh, you know, becoming more calm at public speaking. Um, I'm really excited to, for the future uh, of, of, of the events. But yeah, this was the first one, this was in London, uh, if I remember correctly in December. 
of 2022. Uh, and then, yeah, last year we didn't do an event because of personal, I was in there some personal things, so I couldn't do it. But um, that leads us up to the next photo. Here you can see Rivalry, uh, Victor, Igor, George, and myself. On to the next photo. This was another photo of the staff at the time. Uh, the people now here, obviously, there's Ash, uh, Mitch, who was from customer service, Arnold. Uh, oh, Daniel Haddad, who was not staff, but we invited him along <laughs> into the staff. And this was an amazing photo that I wanted to share. So this was from, uh, well, this might have been 2022 as well. Um, of course, uh, this is Mitch, uh, Mitch, Victor, George, Igor, and Mike. And um, yeah, I just obviously wanted to give another big shout out to them because, you know, they were... Uh, massive part chart champions and yeah I, I really honestly liked them as people I thought they were amazing as well so uh, yeah just wanted to give a really big shout out to them like helped create a lot of the lessons put in a lot of their time and efforts so um, if they are somehow watching this you know I love you so thank I appreciate all the work that you've done so yeah shout out to them and then uh, this was the last um, last meetup that we done as staff. So this was in Malaga, um, and the team more or less here is the same. But now we're now obviously rivalry and the devs. But apart from that, we got the same team, which leads us up to that's another Malaga photo, and that is from yesterday. <laughs> so that is our our now current team and. Um, yeah, that's all the photos from the start, well, that I have put to on the presentation from start to where we are here, um, of, of some of the memories and little behind the scenes of, of the team meetups. But, uh, oh, and that's, that's Joseph at the end. He's not here tonight, uh, the, the guy from South Korea, but he's a legend as well. Uh, you'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, now I've got uh, some notes uh, that I'll go through in terms of... Um, yeah, some like tip, I don't know, lessons that I've learned sort of thing. And uh, I've got a few slides to go over this. Oh, I don't know if, it, if, if someone's got water that I could chat, grab really quickly. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Thank you, mate. <laughs> cool. Cool, yeah. So, um, yeah, so... It's obviously like, um, I need to stop, obviously saying obviously. Um, for, <laughs> I'm so bad at saying that. Um, so I don't know how many people here know or not, but obviously Chart, Chart Champions was created uh, officially in May 2019. Um, if you were around before that, you'll know that there was a, a thing before Chart Champions, and this was called Avid Students. And even before that, it had no name. Uh, so it was like a process. It originally, uh, in, interesting story, because I, at the time, this would have been now, well, I've been doing like Twitter, before, uh, I think since like 2011 uh, or 12, 2011, 2012. And then I had my YouTube channel, but I wasn't doing trading videos on YouTube. I was doing like Call of Duty videos. <laughs> that was my passion back then. And then... Um, I was doing like a little bit of like tweets every now and then, no one really cared, um, but I, I, I enjoyed it. And um, the way Chart Champions got created uh, was because I was a member of a, a trading form and I've always been like a, a person that's always on the computer and joining all these different forms. I've been on so many forms. And um, the, the way Chart Champions got created at the time was I was on a trading form and I could just tell like these, nobody had any idea what they were on about. And it was actually a Bitcoin trading form. I can't remember, what it, was. it might have been called the Bitcoin pub or something. Yeah, I think it was called the Bitcoin pub. Um, <laughs> and on this form, I, 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 you know, they're all just loads of random people in the world. And, and I could see that they um, were like going to be on the wrong side of the market. And I was like writing and like giving my opinion. And obviously I was just a random guy. So um, but I was like saying, oh yeah, I think you're not quite right on this analysis. And uh, over time, like I was posting and people, 
thought oh, and I posted oh he's something you know he's, he's doing all right and um, over time I was posting a little bit more and more and then I started to get some like kind of like uh, people that would ask me about my analysis and then one point someone was like um, he he did he I posted a, uh, he posted like his analysis and I was like no this analysis is not right and he was uh, and then basically I in the end I was like I'll just do a video to to show you how <laughs> you're not right on this and so I made a video and um, in this form a lot of people were were inter were like oh this is kind of interesting this this video because at this point there wasn't actually a lot of people even making videos about uh, trading crypto or at least like good videos of trading crypto <laughs> there wasn't a lot of people doing it and so i made this video in this format at least and so when i done the video um a lot of the people at first it was just a few people they were like oh you should do some more videos and i was open to the idea of doing some more videos and i had this one guy that was religiously like commenting on every video that i done like this is so amazing i need more of these videos and I was like really happy because <laughs> I was like, oh, this guy loves it. So um, I'm happy to do it. Um, and so, yeah, it literally started out because from the form to then this guy becoming really passionate about my, my videos. And it was just literally one person. Um, and then I started to do them more and more. And, you know, then it went from one person interested to like two people interested to like three people that would be like, hey, I would like really like some more videos. And then it got to a point where I was I was spending a lot of my time just um, doing the, these videos for people and like answering their questions. And I was happy to do it, you know, it was, it was cool. And they they were like, oh, we feel really bad because now you're spending so much time on the form to answer your questions, can we donate to you? And I was like, well, if you really want to, like you can do that. And so then it was set up originally before Chart Champions and Average Students. Um, then people were just like, hey, we'll donate some money, like a, a tip sort of thing, and that, that was cool. And then um, it created into this thing called Average Students. I don't know how many of you can remember this. Um, this would have been in like 2018. And this was on like Patreon, like $10, $20 a month or something. And so this is what was really, really cool actually about how it's become Chart Champions. Um, because I was just doing this Patreon thing and it was not really anything like that serious. Uh, it was just like a helping out sort of thing. And then um, one of the guys, because even back then people were like really uh, loving what I was doing. And like I had some like big, uh, big followers, even though I only had like five followers, like one of them was like super, super uh, keen on it. And one day I'm just at my computer and then he's this one, one guy and he's called the New Era. Um, he sent me a message uh, like, hey, mate, I've made you this whole website. Um, you know, I'm going to give you all the rights and transfer everything to you. I just wanted to say, like, thank you. And you no longer need to use Patreon. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like, um, this guy has spent, I don't know how long doing this website for me without me even knowing. Um, yeah, that was, that was really cool because I actually knew this guy quite a lot because I, I was doing voice calls with him. So I didn't know that he was going to do anything like this, but I was doing some voice calls. He was from California. And so um, it, I wouldn't call it like one-on-one -on -one lessons, but I was kind of like helping him out a little bit. And so his way of like saying thank you was to create this website for me. And it was, and that's basically how Chart Champions then started to get a bit more serious, uh, like to where it is today, thank, thanks to that guy. Um, because I don't know whether I would have, I don't know whether I would have eventually got to how like it is today without him, to be honest, because I don't know if I would have bought, like done the whole website and things. So yeah, that, that guy, he is no longer a member. I, I can't remember why, but he sometimes comments on my videos like once every like six months, once a year saying, oh, I'm so happy you're doing well. I'm just like, it's like random guys, they're so <laughs> amazing. Um, so yeah, he is called a new era and he, he was a big part of Chart Ch Ch Champions. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shout out to new era. <laughs> So anyway, where I was going with this eventually was, so yeah, the, the way then Chart Champions, then, then when we had the website, I don't know how, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, when, when we had the website, that's when it started to gain a little bit more traction. And then like my, I done in 2018, I was like a really big Bitcoin bear. So I was like saying to people that oh, Bitcoin's gonna crash down. This is so obvious, descending triangle. Um, 
you know, just get ready for the crash. And I was like warning a lot of people like Bitcoin's going to crash. And it was really funny because at the time we had a lot of um, uh, influencers and et cetera saying like, oh, Bitcoin cannot crash. This is going to pump so hard. Uh, um, I remember the argument of Bitcoin cannot go below $6,000 because the miners will shut off. So people were literally in disbelief. It cannot go below 6K. And, you know, the, tri the sending triangle, like they were just like, they were like, it's impossible for it to happen. I was like, it is possible it's going to happen. And then eventually, obviously, it crashed down. And that's when uh, chart champions then started to get really big, really quick, because people then could look back and be like, oh, look, this guy like could actually predicted it. And then from there, it started to grow like, exponentially quick, uh, like I never like imagined. Um, and so then like what I learned well, all that and at the time, we, I started to work with people that were already members. So you remember the uh, picture of the first ever London meetup. Obviously, when in that meetup, there was Igor, uh, Victor, and Mike, and then they were all chart champions coaches. So I was hiring and working with people that, that I felt like oh, I can trust these guys. I know these guys, I, and so I wanted to hire and only work with people that are within the within the community. Um, and so that was, you know, a massive help for me. And then George actually started off as customer service. Uh, and then he was just like, I want to help you. And then and after customer, he was customer service, then he become a coach because I needed another coach at the time. And so it was just like people were from the community and then building themselves up. And I, I, it was uh, it was like a really, I think, like a unique way of like building a, a business like it is today. like just i don't know through like with friendship and uh people that are you know really want to, you know all the traders within the community and so um what i though learn over the years is that it's so important to work with people that are also you need to understand for me anyway it's really important to know like the one person's purpose in life what, what do they want what are their goals because you can work with people that you are just essentially, I'm working with, I essentially started working with people that I didn't really know them that well, okay? And then as you get to know people, you get to start to understand them. And one thing that I have definitely learned is it's really important to work with people that are on the same like belief system over to you in terms of like, they want the same goals. They are really passionate about what they're doing. Um, they want to see the same growth. They want to have the same drive. And so one thing that I learned is, yeah, it's, it, you do have to be a lot more picky than what I was originally was with people that you're working with. If you really want to go to the next level and succeed and move forwards, um, yeah, that, that's personally one thing that I learned that was like I, I never knew before. Like it's so important, like the hiring process of a business. Um, yeah, for me, that was like one important lesson that I never really thought about at the start. And also, um, yeah, like now I, I feel like our team at Chart Champions, we all have the same goals, we all have the same love, we all have the same wants. We're all, you know, just, you know doing, doing what we love. And uh, obviously that at the end of the day is for us all to succeed here and see our students do well. Um, so then on the next point, like what I learned about trust, um, I could do a whole talk about this because this is I've gone through some seriously crazy things, which I'm not going to do tonight. But um, yeah, because some of it is personal and, and I wouldn't want to sh don't want to share it all too much. But trust is such a massive thing in the trading space because there are honestly so many scammers. Like it's unreal how many scammers there are in crypto, and like I've been scammed myself, and even people that were coach at chart champions ended up being massive scammer so it's like i can be scammed like that like it's super it's just crazy like how easy it is to be falling for scams in this space so like one thing that i learned is like you just have to be super 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 careful and even people that look like they're not scammers and look like they're trying to help you and they're becoming friends of you at the end of the day like you always have to think so carefully like, what is this guy's ulterior motive because unfortunately some people do and I was always such a, like a trusting guy I never thought anything bad about anybody but what I learned over the years is that money really 
corrupts people and makes them super jealous. Um, and then, yeah, they end up doing like really crazy things, to be honest with you, uh, like really, really crazy things. Um, and so that's one thing that I've learned. And the biggest lesson for myself is like just be really, really careful with who you trust because there's a lot of people like wolf in sheep's clothing. And so, um, yeah, that, that was one of, honestly one of the biggest lessons that I learned over the past two years of like just, yeah, like a, a thing of trust. And now I'm like more careful and I'm a little bit more not just open to, uh, like I once was like just see someone and oh yeah, trust them. They can be like my best friend really quickly. Uh, now I'm a bit more like, okay, now I need to actually uh, do, make sure you're uh, not going to try and scam me in some way. So um, that is a, a major thing that I learned. Um, and that really brings it back to like the importance of community. Uh, so for me, like surround, like this is what I love about what, what we're doing like here over this weekend. Um, of course, I hope, I hope there's no scammers here tonight. <laughs> But you, you really want to surround yourself with like positive, like really driven people. And I think if you look carefully, I was too naive. I was just like, everyone's fine. Everyone's really, you know, yeah, I was too, tr like just openly trusting. But I think if you start to, and I really recommend everyone to like, between yourselves, like get together, like make some friendships, like really get to know each other. Because, and I mean, I mean, some of the coaches in Scott, you know, they will, will all say the same, like, some of the best ways that you can like drive and move yourself forward is, is through the, the, the fellow uh, champions alongside you. Uh, you hear their stories. Even for me, like it, it motivates like 100%. If it wasn't for this community here, I, I, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, well, I guess it's kind of obvious, maybe. I wouldn't be here today, like, because th this is, I, I'm waking up every day motivated, knowing that I have a big community that are like interested and learning. And so, that's like my motivation is, is to help you. But then between yourselves, you can motivate yourselves and like having that friendship, you basically are going to make each other better. Like I 100% and, and you know, many of you will know firsthand like that like building of the friendship and helping each other and supporting each other. And even if it's just in the discord, like sending each other messages every day, like how's it going, like what trades you in, and like giving feedbacks on each other. Um, even if, like, let's say, two of you become friends today that are newer traders, you can still, you know, watch the videos and then talk about what you're learning. I, I think it's like a massive, 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 um, massive help for yourselves to to make as many friends as you can over this weekend, and then keep that ongoing through the discords because I, I truly believe that it will help you a lot in in your trading um, because of that like importance of community and like coming together and build. Like, like I say here, like building yourself up, right? You want, you know, trading at the end of the day. When I, when I look back like a decade, it, I mean, I, I was personally having fun, but it was super antisocial. Like I'd be in my, front of my computer like 12 hours a day. You know, I, 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 <laughs> it wasn't very social. And so, you know, having a good community, strong community behind you is, it will make you do better. And I'm, I believe that 100%, but also like you will have a lot more fun on the journey. And, and that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, then this, uh, I'm aware of the time, so I'll go through this a little bit quicker, but then yeah, over the, yeah, I, th I think this is cool one because if you've been a member for the past five, six years, then you'll be able to see my journey as well of like where I was to where I am now. And like a few, few quick notes for me, like for me, like I definitely now place so much more emphasis on my, on my health, not just like eating habits and going to the gym, but also you, you can all probably say like I'm more of like now a swing trader. I do feel like my mental health like really helped uh, from going from like 12, 16 hours a day screen time to know like still spending like eight hours a day, but not all day and having to look at the charts and having sleepless nights and like just always, always thinking about the charts. I now can balance this out. And I think that that is super important to be able to have that balance. Um, and if I could go back like 10, 12 years and, and look at myself, I, I, would, I would give myself the tip of it's so important to balance it out. Like my goal at the time was just, well, I guess my, my goal at the time was more just, I was, I was honestly just loving what I was doing. I was addicted to trading, but I would definitely say to myself, don't get so addicted 
you know, give yourself some more free time, build relationships, you know, attend events, you know, network and, and meet more people and have that social life balance. So it's not just all about trading all day. And I, I would re just recommend overall, overall that, that, that balance to myself. And then the last post that I, I, you know, I've wrote here is about the, like, the arrogance and ego. And this was like a self-reflection because I would always over the years say to myself like, yeah, I, I am egotistical when it comes to trading. Oh, maybe in a lot of things. When I do something, I always want to be the best. So then I would always get comments like, oh, Daniel's so egotistical, like he's always bragging. And I would be thinking to myself, well, I'm not really bragging. I'm just happy about my wins. Um, but then I, I look back and I can understand now, like I'm a lot more uh, accepting of the criticism of, yeah, maybe I was really uh, big headed or uh, 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 more arrogant at the time. And, you know, I think it's important to uh, accept that criticism and uh, make changes to become a better person. And so, yeah, that, that's a few bits about like my health. I was going to spend more time on that, but I'm going to uh, move on. So, yeah, this is my last slide. So. Um, yeah, for me, like the future of chart champions, the, we have like two like major goals, I would say, in terms of what we want to do going forwards. And one of them we're already like half into, and uh, that's obviously the moving into more live trading. So now we've obviously got the live trading streams, but I feel that we can go, we can improve this. And we're going to be releasing some feedback surveys and, and, and ways to way that we can improve live trading in terms of scope trading. But I also want to do something different with live trading for myself with swing trading. Because sometimes I go on the live trading streams. I'm, I already know before I'm on the stream that I'm not going to take a trade. So it's a little not good use of the time. So I think that one of my big goals is how can I improve live trading from a swing trader's perspective as well. Um, which can be like challenge accounts or more actively following of every trades. But that's one of the uh, a really big goal that I have of doing that, uh, improving that. And then uh, with the events like today, uh, I want to do regular events. So this is going to be at least once a year. Um, and yeah, just remain with the same passion and love that we're doing and, and most importantly to remain consistent. And then the last point here, is uh, that yeah for me honestly it's a really big part of, of my life now and like my like founding of God and uh, Jesus and so for me that like founding and I look back on my life now having found God and realized like I feel like I was blessed with like this ability to trade and it's funny because obviously I met Isabella and she was running a charity and I was thinking a few years ago before I met God like you know, I'm just donating away money and I, I had a, a, an idea of creating a school. I had an idea of, you know, doing these types of things. And then I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, if I want to create a school, you know, I don't have the experience to do this. I don't have the knowledge to do this. I would need to hire people and it could be done, but I'm not going to be involved. I'm just going to give some money and there's, there's going to be a school. And so then after finding God, I had to, I was thinking and asking God, like, what is my purpose? Like, what am I here to do? And then it all, and then I said to this bit of Bella, was like, well, it's obvious, no? Like your, your purpose is is to teach people how to trade. You've already got a massive community. There's already people that are respecting and learning to you. And I was like praying on it. And it and it, it, it yeah, I, I feel honestly that my calling and I was given this ability to trade, to then teach people how to trade and like change their lives through trading. And so for me, yeah, I feel like super blessed to have the trading ability that I have um, to essentially, yeah, help, help people out with their lives. And so, yeah, for me, that was like my final words. I just wanted to say like a massive uh, thank you to God for like showing me the, the light. And even though I was on this path, I feel that it really just leveled my head. Or, and, you know, the, the same with everything. There's always times where, especially over the past few years, I've gone through some really, really hard things. And I was so, I could have given up so easily. Uh, and there have been times where I did want to give up because I was like, this is not worth it for me. Um, but then, honestly, Isabella really helped me on the path of, of saying to me, like, no, you can't give up. You can't stop doing this. And then meeting God, for me, that was also like a calling, like, no, do not lose this path. Like, you need to stay on the path and keep teaching people and keep helping them out because this is what you're here for. 
And so I honestly feel that I am here for that. And so I'm, I'm really happy and proud to, to be here tonight. And um, yeah, I, I, uh, hopefully I'll get better as the weekend goes on. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Right, so Daniel took a little bit too long, so I had a three hour speech, but now I can only do two minutes, is that it? Hello, hello. Oh, not good. Good evening, traders, and welcome. Hello, hello, hello. A very, very warm welcome to you all. I'm going to read off the script, just in case I miss anything, so here we go. I know some of you are eager to eat, especially now. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let's start this quick, this quick speech. Right. So, I would like to start by giving a big shout out to the to the Chart Champions team for organizing and making this special event possible. Especially. <laughs> especially Daniel, who has taken CC. <laughs> who has taken CC from a single person five years ago <laughs> in his blue pyjamas <laughs> to a solid team of like-minded individuals who all strive to give you members the best learning tools so that you can go on your trading journey. I will go further and say that we are more than just a team. We are a family. <laughs> So, I would, I would also like to thank you all for traveling such long distances from the comfort of your homes and having to put up with the hot weather here in Dubai. I mean, it's, it's too hot, um, but it will be worth it. And I am glad drag to P was not your driver because <laughs> he's been having some driving issues with motorcycle incidents um, over the past few days but I hope you're alright mate. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh there he is. <laughs> Legend. Uh, I hope you're okay mate. Um, okay then. As you all know, or most of you probably do know, I have been with CC for, from the very beginning where I joined in December 2018 with the uh, just join impressed comment <laughs> and I've never ever looked back. I was new to trading and at the time I was mining Bitcoin using the factory electricity um, and yeah those were fun times. Bitcoin at the time was 3k. I mean can you believe that? 3k for one single coin. <laughs> um, but yeah when I was like looking for a mentor and a place to learn Daniel stood right out from the whole of YouTube traders I came across. He spoke in probabilities using price action to, um, to plan future odd counts. Um, but the good thing it was, he was always highlighting that risk management. And for me, that was super, super, super important because coming from a business background and understanding risk, I already knew that I wanted to approach trading, uh, this trading journey, um, very serious and treat it as my business. Um, so Daniel also sp spoke about short trades. As you all know, back in those days, no one knew about shorting the market. It was either long and to the moon we go, <laughs> but no one knew about the shorting. Um, so yeah, so uh, I, I knew I knew then that um, this was the home that I wanted to learn my you know analysis and you know become a trader. So after joining and being impressed. <laughs> I quickly started watching the videos um, and at the time there was not many lessons available but the Sunday streams were epic. Do you remember those? In the blue pyjamas as well? <laughs> it was velvet, wasn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the, those Sunday streams were full of gold nuggets, honestly. Like there were so many things including like for example the Doctrine 5 uh, fib tool. I mean that was just mwah, uh, epic. Um, so yeah, I was listening in and asking a ton of questions. Um, yeah, including right the famous other line, which was, "Is this a time, a good time to short or long? <laughs> How far we've come, eh?" Um, so yes, I was never shy to ask, and I ask you all to never be shy to ask. Honestly, learning is about leading one another. Um, so yeah, don't shy, you know, and always ask. 
But from then, I quickly had this connection with the charts. I started developing my own strategies, worked endless hours on risk management, including, and some of you know this, building the Excel journal, as well as many statistics where most of my trading involved from. So from my business, I always knew cash flow was very important. Having that journal always was my number one priority for me because uh, I wanted to record everything. Um, obviously, right? Don't get me started on my templates because <laughs> I'll be here all night and I don't have time. <laughs> um, so I better not. Um, but yeah, let's go to the second page here. If I can find it. Um, but yeah, I truly believe that every trader can do this or on their own because there are some ladies here, some traders, ladies. Um, but yeah, but I can't stress enough how important it is to have a mentor and a community of like minded individuals to lean on fast track your learning, share ideas, engage with the community and take accountability and more importantly make long lasting friendships. I mean look around tonight in this room, we, we've all, I mean we've come a long way, we've got some serious like some really nice relationships and I'm sure some of you do too and this is what we're here for, you know, for those nice long lasting um, you know, relationships etc. So as we celebrate five years I mean, yes, five years, five years. I would like us all to take a pause, look at our achievements and reflect on what we've learned so far. It's been a long journey already. However, I feel the same, day, the same way every day. Excited to coach you all and always ready for the new trading day ahead. There are no shortcuts in a trader's life. It is rough and a long path we take. But always remember these, the negative days, the bad choices, the poor risk management, <laughs> the entering trades because you feel like it, <laughs> or the so-called FOMO. <laughs> yeah, these should always, but I mean always, logged into our lessons learned database. We do not see this as a negative. Instead, we learn from it and we make sure that we do not repeat those, making the path ahead very clear. Small and consistent steps lead to success. I wish you all a very great weekend. Let's go! <laughs> now, seven. Yeah, what a lovely speech. That was from Daniel and Igor. I'm trying to keep up with that. So let's see. And I'm trying to keep it short and precise and structured as I always do. So um, yeah, also from my side, I wish you a good evening, everyone. And I am very honored to be here tonight and to have the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you for this special five-year celebration event. It's amazing and I am very happy to see so many passionate but also familiar faces from previous meetups. So to all of you, thank you once again for being here tonight. We know that it was quite a journey for some of you to get here. And we truly hope that you leave this event feeling more inspired and motivated than ever before. I want to take a quick moment and reflect on my own journey. Not so long ago, I was sitting where many of you are sitting now, eager, curious, and maybe a bit uncertain about what the future would hold. I was a long-term member of CC, attending events just like this one. I, in fact, this is now the fourth event that I am part of. And it, I remember very well what it felt like to be on the other side, looking up to the coaches, absorbing every word and visualizing myself to be a trader like Daniel and Igor. But here I am today standing before you as a coach. It's a journey that I am deeply proud of, but it's also a journey that has taught me so much about perseverance, discipline and the power of consistency. You see, none of the coaches here tonight are any different from any of you. We weren't born with some special trading talent or anything like that. We might have a calling, but not a special talent in my belief. We faced the same challenges, made the same mistakes, and also felt the same frustrations. It only comes down to making a decision, a decision to endure the tough moments, to keep improving, and to never give up, no matter what. From my personal experience, a major driver for me to make this decision was to frequently attend events just like this one. That being said, I am very proud of each and every one of you to have made the decision to come out here tonight and commit yourself to this journey. 
As most of us know, training is a marathon, not a sprint. The beginning phase can and will be tough. There will be moments of doubt, frustration, and times where you feel like giving up. But it's in those moments that you must dig deep and find your strength and also your purpose of why you are doing this. As with most difficult things in life, it's about showing up every day, putting in the work and staying consistent, even when it gets tough. I truly believe that the only difference between where some of you are now and where you want to be is time, effort and also believe in yourself. If you stay committed, keep learning and continue to push through the challenges, there is no limit to what you can achieve. Tonight is a celebration of how far Char Champions has come, but let it also be the night where you commit yourself to this journey and that you won't give up no matter what and no matter how tough it gets. Because success in trading is within every one of yours reach. That being said, we will be here to support you as good as we can and we commit to constantly improving and getting better and better. During this event, I recommend you all to make as many connections, connect with as many people as you can, and yeah, just network with the people that have the same goals and ambitions, but also celebrate with us. So thank you all and enjoy this event.